Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we have ourselves more Ninjago Dragons Rising news brought to us by Ninjago series head writer Doc Wyatt over on Twitter. And yes, I know we've been covering a lot of these tweets as of late, but to be honest with you, Doc Wyatt went on kind of an answering spree the other night, and a lot of these answers... I do want to talk about. In today's video, we have a couple of answers that I will cover just in one video. Not really sure if they need to be their own videos necessarily, so let's just dive on into it. The first one here is, will we find out where Jordana went after stopping rocks? Doc Wyatt replies, sorry, but you'll have to wait and see, which in my opinion means that yeah, we probably will, which I think is a very good thing. Of course, following season two, part two and becoming freed of Rox's possession, Jordana just kind of left. Not really sure where she went, but I'm glad that we will be seeing her again, because Jordana, at least in my opinion, is a super intriguing character, and I really enjoy having her in the Dragon's Rising storyline. In the future, though, again, we've speculated that maybe she could be some type of ally to Sora, maybe some type of informant, not officially, joining or siding with the ninja, but being, again, just an ally. I think that's possible, again, especially considering what happened at the end of Season 2 Part 2, but I'm sure we will see, again, in terms of where she went, what she's doing now, we can only speculate, but the good news is we will definitely be seeing her in the future. And finally, the second tweet that I want to cover in this video involves the baby dragon that we saw from Season 2 Part 2 in the first episode, or Episode 11 of Season 2 just overall. Somebody asks this question, can you tell us the name of the baby matriarch dragon, please? Doc Wyatt replies, Oridini? Oridini? Not really sure how to pronounce that name properly, but there is a star just by doing some googling that is called the Epsilon Oridini, so I wonder if that's something related to the name. Maybe they named this dragon after this star. No idea, but this baby matriarch dragon does actually have a name now, which I think is cool. I don't know. I guess just keep an eye out for this baby dragon. Maybe she will be doing something more in the future. I will say there are a lot of people speculating right now that maybe this dragon could be the Lloyd's Forest dragon from the upcoming season three set wave. Could totally be, but ultimately we are not sure. But again, I'd say keep an eye out for this baby dragon. Chances are she will be doing something more in the future. But with that being said, that'll pretty much wrap it up from my thoughts here. Again, just a couple of quick topics that I wanted to cover in just one video, just to give my thoughts about them. Thank you so much for tuning in and leave all of your thoughts down below in the comments. If you guys enjoyed this one, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.